that uh, the north pole of a magnet it will attract the south pole okay and the south pole of a magnet it will attract the north pole that means like poles they will at, uh, repel to each other and unlike poles they will attract to each other okay then uh, there are some property of a magnet okay that's a this is a very important so you have to learn this particular property what are the property of a magnet if question will come like uh, uh, give uh, five properties of a magnet so you have to explain the five sentence at least you have to write okay so magnet have the two poles like and one is north pole and the other was is south pole okay and the north pole that means the pole which are named according to orientation of the end that is suspended floating magnets towards the geographic pole of the earth okay that means that is called as the north pole that means the north pole means it is indicated towards the north pole what uh, geographic pole of the earth surface okay that means if a magnet is freely suspended if a magnet is freely suspended in that particular region just see that is north pole and this is south pole okay and if you just consider the earth surface also this is the geographic geographic south okay and this is the geographic north also okay so accordingly we can have the two poles like a north pole as well as the south pole okay and the strength of the magnet is the more concentrated and near at its pole particular at the pole the strength is more okay and third thing the space around the magnet where the it can experience the force of attraction of force of repulsion it is called as the magnetic field okay so that means around the magnet surrounding a magnet there is some field is there that like this this type of field is be created in the particular magnet that means uh, <coughs> from the north pole the field will be towards the south pole okay so like this the field will be created around the magnet this is a particular that means the space you can define like this the space around the magnet where the magnet can influence the force of attraction of force of repulsion that is called as a magnetic lines that is called as the magnetic field of that particular magnet okay so that means the field the lines So what is the magnetic lines of force? Magnetic lines of force. These are the imaginary lines which are originated from the north pole and it will end at the south pole. Okay. So if the question will come like, uh, what is the magnetic lines of force? How can we define magnetic lines of force? So you just uh, I will write that uh, magnetic lines of force are the imaginary lines. Okay. Uh, which are originated from the north pole of a magnet and it will end at the south pole of a magnet. Okay. So and also one point is there the field lines will run from the south pole to north pole that will from the inside the magnet okay so magnetic lines of force that will run like this outside the magnet it will run from the north pole toward the south pole okay north pole toward the south pole but inside the magnet it will run from the south pole toward the north pole okay remember this point Question will come like inside the magnet, how the magnetic lines of force are flowing. Okay, so inside the magnet, the magnetic lines of force are flowing from the what south pole to north pole, and outside the magnet, the magnetic lines of force are flowing from the what uh, north pole toward the south pole. Okay, so and other properties there like of magnet, like uh, like poles, so they will repel to each other, and unlike poles, they will attract to each other. Okay. Like poles, they will repel to each other, and all like poles, they will attract to each other. Okay, and the magnetic lines, field lines, particularly, they tends to contract longitudinally. That means the magnet always try to contract its uh, what the length way. That means magnetic lines of force always like con con try to contract length way. That means it will what contract longitudinally. Okay, so it is the the properties of a particular magnet. Okay. Then comes to attraction and repulsion of a magnet. Okay, so if you just uh, take a bar magnet, okay, if you just take a bar magnet and uh, you just uh, keep that particular bar magnet, you just keep that particular bar magnet freely suspending. Okay, just uh, keep that particular bar magnet freely suspending a bar magnet. It will always point towards the north and south direction. It will always point towards the north and south direction. Okay. So these are the properties. Okay. Then, <clears throat> what is the yes, Angita Mishra? Yes, sir. Sir, a horseshoe magnet is strong or bar magnet is strong. 
horse magnet is a strong magnet as comparison to bar magnet horse magnet is strong sir so because of its shape not because of its shape according to the that means uh, in the particular bar magnet the magnetic strength is concentrated and the particular poles and the horse magnet is like a different shape accordingly so we are just calculating yes, the strength sir. practically we have seen that the horse magnet is powerful more powerful than the bar magnet okay sir sir uh, in the exam diagram will come yes two diagrams you have to do that means according to the question paper pattern so whatever the okay. question paper pattern you have followed in the second terminal the same pattern yes, it will sir. follow okay okay sir two diagram out of three you have to do two okay sir thank you sir so there are some laws of magnetism sir there this is also very important question will come like uh, if the question will come like uh, uh, what are the laws of magnetism so i at least if the question accordingly accordingly the marks that means if the question paper is the uh, three marks okay so you have to write at least three points you have to write okay and uh, if the question is uh, five marks question so you have to write at least five points should be there okay so accordingly point wise we will we'll do the marks okay so laws of magnetism what is the laws of magnetism okay so first law is telling that the magnet attract the magnetic substance the magnet attract the magnetic substance what are the magnetic substance magnetic substance there are three types of magnetic substance are there okay one is the diamagnetic substance paramagnetic substance third one is the ferromagnetic substance okay but only in your syllabus ferromagnetic is given ferromagnetic means what Uh, the magnetic substances which are strongly attracted by the magnet they are called as the ferromagnetic substances i am writing here ferro magnetic substances okay so that means uh, those substances which are strongly attracted by the magnet they are called as the ferromagnetic substances okay so magnet attract the magnetic substances like there are four substances are there like iron steel cobalt and nickel this particular substance can be attracted by the magnet okay and second property second law of magnetism says that when the magnet is freely suspended when you when you freely suspended any magnet that always tends to be in north south direction okay why because the, why the magnet tends to in the north south direction who can tell me who can tell me why the you have already read this particular chapter and i think you have already prepared for the exam also exam is also nearly 18th the exam will be also date has already declared so tell me uh, how can uh, how can you define that when the magnet is freely suspended why it is always tends towards the north south direction why it is always point towards the north south direction you can reply me yes if you know the answer you can raise your hand i am again repeating the question when a magnet is freely suspended it always point towards the north south direction my question is why why it is not to, uh, what uh, not uh, Point towards the east to west direction or south north direction. Why it is always point towards the north south direction? Yes, two students are there. Is then yes, Bhavi ka Dubey. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, Bhavi ka. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Why, if you freely suspended a magnet, it will always the point. towards the north south direction that means you just see that it's a bar magnet and we are just freely suspending a bar you can practically see that particular case if you suspend a freely a freely a bar magnet it will always point towards the north south direction why it is happening sir because uh, sir uh, earth earth north north and south pole attract the magnet towards okay. the earth uh, uh, north and south poles only this much is the answer can you yes. can anyone explain it
सर इफ इफ अ मैग्नेट इज सस्पेंडेड फ्रीली इट ऑलवेज पॉइंट टूवर्ड जियोग्राफिक नॉर्थ साउथ डायरेक्शन सर बिकॉज ऑफ द डायरेक्टिव प्रॉपर्टी एंड सर एट पोल्स ऑफ नॉर्थ साउथ द मैग्नेटिक स्ट्रेंथ इज ऑलवेज Uh, Just explain how the dietary how how can you confirm that from a dietary property it is showing that it is always point towards the north south direction. Why not east west? Why not the west east? Always north south. Why? Just explain it. Yes, sir. Yes, bye, Bhav. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, tell me, sir. Sir, because in the south, uh, geographic south of the Earth, there is a big north pole, a uh, big magnet of north pole, and in the north south side of the Earth, there is a big south pole of a magnet. That that's why it attracts towards. Just to explain once more, sir, in the north side of a magnet. Yes. Uh, of the Earth, in the north side of a Earth. Okay. It is the north side of the earth. Sir, there is a magnet uh, which is pointing towards uh, its south, uh, its south pole. Okay. It, and in the south, uh, in the geographic south of the earth, there is a magnet which point towards its north. That why. Okay. That means yes, yes. What you are telling, I am getting your point, and you are correct also. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. So just see that. In the particular, uh, it is the geographic south pole. But here, uh, that means if you consider the magnet, if the, if it is the Earth, uh, it is uh, this particular round shape. It is the Earth shape structure. Okay, it is a, the Earth is also like a magnet. Okay, so it is a geographic south. But in the magnet, it is the north magnetic pole of the Earth. It is the north magnetic pole of the Earth. Okay, magnetic pole of Earth. Okay, and it is the north it is the south magnetic it is the south magnetic pole of earth okay so as it is a south magnetic pole it will attract the north pole if you suspend a freely suspend a bar magnet that means the north pole will be attracted the mag the what the north pole of the bar magnet listen it carefully the north pole of the bar magnet it will attracted by the south magnetic pole of the earth and the south pole of the bar magnet it will be attracted toward the what north magnetic pole of the earth okay so if you suspend any magnet if you suspend any magnet freely okay you can find that particular magnet will always tends toward the north south direction yes isika raj yes sir good uh, morning sir Good morning, sir. Because a freely uh, freely suspended magnet always rests in north south direction because yes. the uh, the magnet uh, south pole of the Earth lies in the geographic north direction and the magnetic north pole of the Earth lies in the geographic south direction. As like unlike poles uh, attract and like poles repel, a magnet aligns itself in north south direction. Okay, okay, brother. Thank you. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, so this is the question will come like uh, why a freely suspended magnet always tends towards the north south direction. This is the answer. Okay, then uh, a point is that similar poles they will repel to each other. Similar pole means south south pole they will repel to each other and north north pole they will also repel to each other. Okay, and uh, dissimilar poles like uh, unlike poles they will attract. to each other that means south north pole they will attract to each other and north south also they will attract to each other okay and five fifth point is that repulsion is the sure test yes answer so one okay so then comes to uh, repulsion is the sure test sure test surest test of magnetism that means the, by the repulsion is repulsion test you can find out that it is the test for the magnetism that means the magnetism will be there or not we can find it by the by the test of repulsion test okay so when the bar magnet is dropped around the on magnetized of on magnetized piece of iron okay it changes into a magnet if any bar magnet it is dropped over a on magnetized piece of iron if you just uh, what a rob a um, bar magnet towards a on magnetized substance or a piece of iron it will also convert into magnet okay 
if a magnet is heated or handily handled roughly okay that means if it is if any was just you are taking a magnet and you are just uh, but uh, handling it roughly or just handling so it loses its magnetism it will lose its is completely magnetism okay so then comes to electromagnet electron what is the definition of a electromagnet a solenoid which has an iron core inside is called as the electromagnet uh, electromagnet is ankita sir i am having a doubt in electric cell okay let me complete the topic okay then i will yes, uh, ask you a doubt that means i will say that you just ask you doubt then up to you okay sir so uh, what is the, just i am discussing some of the important topic related to electricity as well as the magnetism okay so electric electromagnet means a solenoid which has the iron core inside it is called a electromagnet a electromagnet is a temporarily magnet if you just switch on the socket so that it will be that means what are the electric socket that will be converted into magnet okay so electromagnet is a temporary magnet for the temporary period of time electromagnet can be activated okay so permanent magnet it is the, that means the whatever the magnets the bar magnets are there they are called the permanent magnet but uh, uh, electromagnets what we have taken the electromagnet they are the temporarily magnet for a temporary for a short period of time electromagnet can be used okay so then uh, <coughs> practical what are the practical uses of electromagnet okay question will come like uh, what are the practical light Three or four practical uses of electromagnet. So you have to write the three four points. Okay. So first, uh, they use the electrical appliances like electric bell, electric fan, electric motor. There are many devices are there in that particular device. We are using the what? Electric electromagnet. Okay. Second thing, they use in the electric generator also. Okay. Generator also we are using the electromagnet. Third thing, they use the television to for the detecting electron beam in the picture tube. Okay. So for the television also we are using the particular electromagnet. They are using they are using the electromagnet for preparing strong permanent magnet. For preparing strong strong permanent magnet, we are also using the electromagnet. They are used by the doctor to cure certain diseases. Certain diseases are there like MRI. Some diseases are there. They can be this particular uh, by the help of electromagnet we can particular cure the particular certain diseases. Okay. So temporary, the question will come like, what the difference between the temporary magnets and permanent magnets? Temporary magnet means electromagnet is a temporary magnet, and the magnet which lose their magnetism as soon as the cause producing them is removed is called as the temporary magnet. Okay, and the permanent magnet means what? The magnet which do not lose their magnetism when the cause producing is them is removed. That is called as the permanent magnet. Okay. So, permanent magnet example is what? Uh, uh, Alnico. Alnico is the type of permanent magnet. But electromagnet, uh, there are many types of electromagnets are there. We have just discussed. We have also discussed some of the examples. Also, we have discussed. Okay. Then comes to <coughs> question will come like, what is electromagnetism? What is the uh, electromagnetism? Electromagnetism means it is a branch of physics which deals with the relation between electricity and the magnetism. Okay. Electromagnetism means that from the electricity, if the magnetic property will be developed from the electric current, or you are just passing the electric current through any circuit. Okay, from that particular circuit, the magnetic property can be developed by by passing the particular electric, electric current. So in that particular property, it is called as the electromagnetism. Okay, then comes to second chapter. Electric bell is also one of the important topic. You just learn what is the process and what are the Functions of electric bell and how what is the structure of electric bell? Okay. In this particular chapter, uh, two three diagrams are also there. They are very important. Like uh, how the earth magnetism as well as the what uh, electric bell, electromagnet. Okay. As well as electric bells also these are the very important diagrams also you have to practice. Okay. Then comes to uh, unit number two that is electric circuit as well as the what. Uh, Components. Yes. What you have the doubt related to electric cell? Hello. Raise your hand first. If anyone, yes. Ant, Antika, Ankita Mishra. Yes. Sir, in the electric cell as a source of electricity, sir, which energy is converted into which? Yes. 
chemical sir? energy is converted into electrical energy okay sir thank okay so electric cell there are chemicals are there okay so in that particular chemical energy that will convert into electrical energy okay so you have to remember certain point like uh, what is electricity what is the definition of electric charge okay and uh, what is the charge of one electron okay and if the question will come like uh, what is the charge of uh, two electrons so you have to first write the charge of one electron is 1.6 10 to the power minus uh, but uh, uh, 19 coulomb then the charge of two electron will be 2 into 10 to the power 2 into 1.6 in 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb it will be 3.2 in 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay so like the question will come like uh, uh, if atom having the atomic number 5 okay atomic number 5 means there are 5 electrons are there and 5 protons are there so question is asking find out the what number how much charge will be developed in the particular atom okay so you have to 5 electron means 5 into one electron having the charge 1 in 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so 5 electron means 5 into 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay so you have to calculate like this and what are the bigger units of electric current what are the smaller units you have to also learn this particular topic so next class we will discuss the electric chapter thoroughly okay thank you